What's up guys, it's Code here. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the red iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. If you guys haven't heard, it was just announced today and actually put up on their website. If you guys haven't seen it, you can check it out on their website or I'll put up a photo like somewhere on the video so you can see it. And there was a lot of rumors about this going around prior to it being released on the website and a lot of people were getting pretty excited about it because they were like, damn, a red iPhone? That sounds dope. I can't wait to get one. Red and black? Ooh, that's gonna look sweet. But little did we know, Apple was behind the scenes thinking, hmm, how could we this up? And then it hit them. I know, we'll put a white front on the front of the red backing. It'll look dope. It'll look so dope that nobody will wanna buy it because it's ugly. So that's what they did. They took a red awesome back with red antenna lines that looks dope and they put a dumb white face on that phone. I don't understand it. Nobody understands it. Everybody thinks it should be black. <sighs> like, why would you ruin it? You've never released a new iPhone with a new color mid-cycle before. And there you go, and you do the red iPhone, and you put a white face on it. You put a white face on it and it doesn't look good. It looks like a toy. It looks like a little toy for a little toddler like the iPhone 5Cs look like. Now, no offense to anybody that has an iPhone 5C. I'm just saying those look like toys. They look like little toys. And the red iPhone looks like a little toy to me. Red and black would have looked dope. Look at this. Look at this picture. That looks cool. There's no spec upgrades for these. It's literally just a color change. And if they did red and black, like I said, it would have been dope. I would have picked it up but it's red and white. I don't want it. And a lot of other people don't want it either. All right, I get it. There was a 50-50 shot. We got red and black or red and white. They chose red and white. Fine, 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 fine. They chose red and white. But this next part just literally baffles my mind. So you're probably thinking, well, Cody, they picked the wrong color. There's only two colors on a phone. What else could they have possibly screwed up? It's the exact same phone internally. What could they have done? How could Apple screw this up again? What could they have possibly done? There's no way that Apple would have screwed it up again. Can't screw it up twice. Can they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Is there a bug in here? I'll fucking kill you. They did. They screwed it up again. They doubly, they double screwed it up. They screwed up doubly, royally doubly hard on this iPhone on the red iPhone, they screwed it up twice. They screwed up with the white, and then what they go and do to doubly screw it up? They put a silver Touch ID ring around the button, the home button. Now, if you aren't familiar with iPhones, which apparently nobody at Apple is, the gold iPhone has a gold home button ring right there, the Touch ID ring, gold, right? Okay, next, pink or rose gold, whatever you guys call it, rose gold, guess what? It's got a rose gold touch ID ring. Silver? You guessed it, it's got a silver touch ID ring. Matte black and jet black? What do you freaking know? It's got a black touch ID ring. What did Apple do with the red iPhone? Well, of course, they did a red touch ID ring, right? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. They did a silver touch ID ring. The silver one on a red iPhone. Am I being just a little bitch? I mean like how many people are actually signing off on this? Just one dude in the back, Billy? Billy signing off on this, just Billy back there? He's not even an engineer. He doesn't even really work here. He's the mail guy. Why are you asking him what design should be done? Billy doesn't care, apparently. If he's the one signing off on it, yeah, man, get the red and the white with the silver ring. I like it like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just how I feel. Some people say that the silver Touch ID ring is an oversight. Eh. Eh, I don't know. An oversight, there's like three colors on a phone. There's the back, there's the front, and then there's the Touch ID ring. That's like literally it, there's three. We're talking about the richest company in the world and they need to take a look at three colors. Three, this many. It's not even a whole hand of numbers. Just look at the colors, get it right. If it was red on the Touch ID ring, it'd make it so much better, just even that much better. I don't know how much better, like 46% according to my statistics, which are always accurate. That's all I gotta say about the iPhone. They had to do three things. 
They didn't have to change any internals. They didn't have to add any new features. They just had to change the color. And they got two of them wrong. Two out of three. That's 66.66 repeating percent they got wrong. I don't know about you guys, but 33.33 repeating percent is failing where I come from. So I grade this red iPhone 7 and 7 Plus as a failure. But honestly, who gives a shit what I say? They're still gonna make billions off of this phone. This ugly phone. Way to go, Apple. You did it. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the red iPhone 7 and red iPhone 7 Plus in the comments below. Obviously, if you love it and you hate me because I don't like it, be sure to let me know in the comments below because you're the person that everybody's going to read their comment and think, you are right. Cody's retarded. Red and black are whack. And red and white are colors for life. Uh... As always, if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more rants like this, make sure you hit that like button on this video. If you don't, hit the dislike button and really give it to me in the comments because I love to read them. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.